Delvin is taking every second on that stool. Pavel, one eye, and getting after it again. Tenth and final round. I have it dead even. Teddy's scorecard through nine. Dead even, says Teddy. 86-86. Exactly the way it should be. The way we thought it might be. And sure as heck the way it has been. The promoters should give both these guys a bonus. Oh. And a rest. To think some of the paychecks that are cashed in this sport with guaranteed contracts and lackluster efforts and to then see these two warriors getting after it with so much on the line. The future of their careers. You know, usually Rodriguez gets his a funny thing. Usually he gets hit with right hands. He stands on the outside, he throws a jab, little's too straight up, and he gets hit with right hands. With a pressure guy like this, you figure it'd be maybe the same thing. But it actually helped him because he couldn't stand on the outside and stand up. He had to be on the inside and slip a little bit. He had to get small a little bit. You know, he had to crouch a little bit. So really, in some ways, fighting with a pressure guy, you thought he would be a bad guy. It took away one of his flaws of getting hit with a right hand on the outside because it forced him to pay attention to that in close. It didn't allow him to be in that leisurely position where he throws a slow jab. Nothing leisurely about tonight. Do you reward the non-stop pressure of Wolak or the sharp shooting effective accuracy of Rodriguez that caused the damage to that eye? Which way do you go if you're a judge? Well, that's the right question, Jen. And I hope they have the answers because he's always had the answers. Good short left hand by Pavel. Wolak's trying to a run here, but so far this round has been Rodriguez. Exactly what you talked about. The more concise, the more precise, the cleaner, more effective punches by Rodriguez. And you saw it again. He doesn't just get lucky in there. He creates room, Rodriguez. Then he gets off. He doesn't just throw. He just throws. There'd be no room. He waits for the right spot. Gets a little room. Then he throws. The time count clap is going to come. And when it does, expect an eruption. Well, so far, if it comes down to this round, I'm going to tell you, it's Rodriguez. It's Rodriguez. He landed the cleanup. Look at this. Rodriguez landing well in the final moments. Pavo comes on. Big trade to the bell. Oh, was that brilliant. Was that absolutely brilliant. Welcome back to New York, a main event that delivered everything it was supposed to and more. A look back at Pavel Wolak, Delvin Rodriguez. Wolak, number eight in the world, bringing pressure all night long. Rodriguez, sharpshooting, combinations, and right hands. The swelling started in round number four around the right eye of Wolak, and it would continue to worsen. Going to extremes in round number seven, time and time again, referee Steve Smoker checked with the doctors. The ringside position said he fights on, and boy, Teddy did he. They sure did. They both did. And you know what? The rounds that were obvious were obvious for Rodriguez. Like these late rounds, where he got a little room and he scored the harder, clearer punches. I'm not worried about those rounds. I'm worried about the rounds early on that were not as obvious, that the judges were able to use their talent and see who won those rounds. Punch of the Night's brought to you by Just For Men. Hair color, the ninth round, uppercut. Watch this. There it is, getting in the mix of that combination. 
Nice right uppercut. The left hook was not with it. Hopefully, Rodriguez doesn't say, I wish I had that left hook back. Well, remember what Rodriguez has said. You work your butt off. You give a good performance. You know you won the fight. You don't get the decision. I don't know that he won this fight. But once again, it's one of these Delvin Rodriguez fights that comes down to this. Teddy, your scorecard. Well, you're going to see it right there. One point lead for Rodriguez. Now, you see in that fifth round, it was an even round. That round could have went either way. It could have went to Wolock. If it goes to Wolock, then it's a draw. For the official decision, we send it up to the ring to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it out there for both of these warriors. After 10 rounds of action here at the Roseland Ballroom, we go to the judges' scorecards. Tom Shrek scored this bout 97-93 for Rodriguez. Steve Weisfeld and Julie Letterman both scored this contest 95-95. We have a majority draw. A majority draw between Wolak and Rodriguez as Tom Shrek favored Rodriguez 97-93. Obviously, Shrek saw what we were talking about in terms of the effective clean punching, the accuracy of Delvin Rodriguez. This was a spectacular fight. Look, I don't have any complaint about this night. This was a terrific night on everybody's oh. part. A terrific night on the fighters' part. A terrific night on the promoters' part. On the matchmakers' part. And on the fans' part for coming and seeing and embracing this fight. And I think the judges did a good job. I could see a draw. And again, I could see Shrek's scorecard where he was able to see those clean punches and I give him credit for that when he had a guy there that was coming forward as much as Wolock and a lot of judges would not have seen those kind of punches. A good night all in all. We're going to take a very short break and when we come back we will talk to both Pavel Wolak and Delphin Rodriguez.